Hi everyone, I'm Mary Beth from babysavers.com and I am here today with Piper, my daughter. Hi. And we are going to do a very fun unboxing for all of you. So a few weeks ago, I attended a virtual conference called Sweet Sweet at Home. It was actually pretty amazing. I got to meet um, with toy brands. I got to see live demonstrations of new products and um, just learn a ton about the upcoming toys for fall and winter 2020. And one of the cool perks of going to this conference is a box of swag. So we are here to open it and show you all the good stuff that's inside. Ooh, this is gonna be good, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's start with Blockaroo. And? Magnetic foam builders. That connects like magic. And so, it is for... Oh yes, ages... 18 months up. And it has 17 jumbo pieces. Right, so, so this is awesome because everyone loves magnets, but we all know that they're not safe for babies and toddlers. Um, they can be dangerous for them to ingest them. So this is an awesome way to introduce magnets, um, give magnets to kids because magnets can keep kids busy for a super long time. And, oh, and also they float in the water. So it is the best bath toy ever, which it actually looks like it is like the best bath toy ever, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, it looks pretty amazing. This yeah. is really fun. Like, and magnets are a great sensory toy too. Mm -hmm. Very fun. We'll put that over here. This one next. Yeah. Play-Doh Elastics. So what does it do? Stretch and mold. So it's kind of, okay, so Play-Doh already makes this line. Yeah. Right? So it's kind of looks like maybe. A putty, sort of. Yes, like a cross between Play-Doh and slime, maybe. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it sticks, you can um, stick it, stick one color onto another, but it looks a little, like a lot stretchier than regular Play-Doh too. Yeah. This looks like a lot of fun. And this is for ages two plus, which is really nice. And this one comes with four colors. So a pink, turquoise, a bright green, and a blue. Yep. Yeah, two plus is nice. The Play-Doh is another great sensory activity. Yeah. So this would be really good. Good. Yes. All right, then we have some blind packs, um, which we all know kids love to collect. What's up? So this is like, a new series of Scooby-Doo. This is all the ghosts from it, I think. From Playmobil? Yep. And how many, so this is, like, this is one ghost and, and a ghost card and sticker. And there are how many in? There are 12 ghosts to collect. All right, that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Next, here's another blind pack. Oh my, gif. Gif? Gif? Gif. Gif, okay. Gif. Some people and want to call it Jif, but they shouldn't. Yeah. Right? Because that's a peanut butter. <laughs> yes. I don't know what this is, though. So, so over 50 animated figurines to collect and share. All right. Let's show. This is something we have to learn about. Um, there are limited edition light up OMG OMG laser catley. Um, Here's a hamburger, an avocado, pizza, pickle. It's from Moose Toys. Um, not for children under three years old, ages six plus. I'm not exactly positive. Well, I'm not sure at all what it is, but we'll see. Yeah, it could be fun. Trinity and Beyond. Is that a show or I character? Don't know. Okay, I don't know either. But so it's a pack where you collect the characters, all the different trinities. It looks like you can, it looks like it's buildable and has a charm. Collectible, buildable figure with charm. Okay, three plus. Jazzy could like that. I mean, yeah. She likes her little figurines and things to play with. So Jazzy is my niece who is her cousin, who is five. So that could work. This is definitely like stocking stuffer. That would be good for her. Yeah. One more blind pack. Calico critters. I used to love these. 
calico critters. They're so cute. Of course, you used to love them. So ages three plus, this is a baby camping series. And there sorry, are, here. There are a bunch of characters. Yes. Oh, look, nine of them. There's a mystery character. And I like their little accessories too. So that one has a campfire, binoculars. I like the uh, the lantern. It's really cute and little bunny frying pan. The marshmallow. Oh yeah, so, so cute. That's corn. It's more like corn marshmallow. Oh, it does look like corn, doesn't it? So cute. These are adorable. And then. Then, how about this one? Oops, it ripped. That one. Is there secret? Crush. It says and crush, unwrap, build me, and customize my hair. It looks like candy. It does look like candy. I think it's supposed to look like candy. I don't. I don't know. Um. So this is for ages. Oh, secret crush minis. Crush to find me, unwrap and build me. So it looks like a pinata. Like this is like a hammer. And then pinata. <laughs> Me, but well, yeah, it does look like that though, doesn't it? Yeah. And this is for ages, do you see an age on here? Four plus. Four plus. Jess might like that. Yeah. Oh, one last, or this one. Another small one to go through. Go, go, gotchas. Too cute. Um, so what does it say? Push button. Dispense capsule and wear and go go. Wear and go go. So, oh, okay. Okay. So, so I think this is a bracelet. And mm. then you dispense the charms for the bracelet. Decorate your I bracelet think, and then wear. I think you can collect all the charms from the different ones too. Yes, and it looks like so. This is a perfume bottle, and then we have there's a shoe or a boot and, and a purse. Go go gotchas. Next, Pokemon, Pokemon trading card game, Battle Academy. Easy to learn, fun to play, ages six plus. And it says, join the Pokemon trainers at the Battle Academy. That looks like you could use your Pokemon cards for it. Oh really, is that what those? Yeah, I think you can. Well, it's a, yeah, trading card game. So it's, like... it's oh, and it includes three complete Pokemon trading card game decks. Oh wait. 60 cards each. Yeah. So that's these. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So uh, definitely, I don't know too much about Pokemon, but this would definitely be a good game for a Pokemon fan because it looks like it integrates what they're already collecting with a new activity to use them for. Yeah, it's like a board game that you use your Pokemon cards with. That is fun. Mm -hmm. And a way to maybe in, um, parents could have fun with it with the kids too. Each player must have a 60 card deck of Pokemon cards to play. So three player, the set comes with three player. It's enough for three players. And then you can use your own to add a fourth or fifth or. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Very fun. Six plus two players. Two okay. players. Okay. So there's extra cards. Yes. Then, oh. Pound puppies, newborns. These are adorable. Have you seen these before? I think you've told me about them. Yes, because I used to have this. My brother had a pound puppy when he was a kid, and then um, then I really wanted one, and I got a pound puppy newborn, and so cute, so little, because there's the full size pound puppies. Oh yeah, classic '80s collection. No wonder it's so familiar. I think I don't know. Um, I'm guessing that. They continued making pound puppies and they updated the packaging. You know, this is kind of back to old school. It includes an adoption certificate. And this little guy wears, has a diaper. That's removable. A removable diaper. How cute. Adopt me. And this is for ages three plus. That's cute. Then another classic. A slinky. A slinky, the original walking spring toy and it actually is like pretty heavy yeah i'm so used to, anniversary oh i'm so used to like the cheap slinkies that you yeah, get like the, at the arcade and stuff and um, the bad slinkies totally bad and this um this is good quality my grandma 
used to have an original slinky at her house and we used to put it down her basement stairs because she had good stairs to use it on. We have good stairs for a yes. slinky. I bet that'll work really good on there. Mm -hmm. Then, playful pandas. Hi, my name is Sweetie. That's adorable. Yeah, all right, so. Laugh out loud, I wiggle, laugh, and roll. Teach me to sing, and I swing. I sing with my panda friends. Pet me, I'm soft. There's a little hole so you can pet the panda. Pet the panda, Piper. <laughs> it is soft. It is soft. My name is Sweetie. I love to cuddle, laugh, giggle, and make new friends. I can't wait to play and sing with you and all our panda friends. We're going to be BFFs. I sing with my panda friends. So. Uh, so yeah, there's music notes. So singing seems to be part of it. Oh, this must be all of them. So these. Yeah. Fashionista, fruity, sweetie, and slumber. Cute. Those are, I don't know. Hopefully you can see these and it doesn't get blurry when I put it close up, but they each have some cute, uh, the cute aspects to their design. <laughs> like the fashionista has heart glasses and slumber has a sleep mask. The foodie has food. Yeah. Looks like sushi. Looks like dumplings to me. Dumplings, yeah. Cute. <laughs> Then, Johnny the Skull Pirate's Cove game blasts the ghosts to get the treasure from Goliath Games. Okay, so, okay, you, we may have noticed this before we did. So, Pirate Ship displays ghosts around the room, blasts the most ghosts to win. Okay. Oh, I think this, so the pirate ship is a projector, and then... Then it somehow senses a light when it hits a ghost. I wonder how it does that. I have no idea. So it comes with a pirate ship, one Johnny the Skull Skeleton, one pirate blaster, and complete instructions. And, okay, so it's for ages four plus, and but it's also... For one or more players. Right, so I love that, that this can be something that can keep one child busy or they can use it um, with others as a game. Yeah. That's super fun. fun. That's super cool. It kind of reminds me of like um, like the blaster games um, or rides. Like, like blaster rides. World. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then pop it. Chuckle and roar. One to two players. I have seen this before. So it's kind of ooh. <laughs> so you just pop, pop, a good sensory. It's like infinite bubble wrap. Yes. And it feels really nice when you put your fingers in there. Mm -hmm. So it is, so for ages three to ten, I do want to see the other side though. <laughs> okay. Um, never ending bubble popping game. So many ways to have fun. For juniors, oh, it's only ages three to ten. Sorry, 11 year old, not for you. <laughs> okay, fine. You can play it. Um, for junior poppers, under six. Sensory fun that keeps little ones busy popping and learning fine motor skills. And then a game for pop stars, six and over. Play a clever two-person game that travels anywhere. Just don't be the last one to pop. And, oh, I kind of like this. No pieces to keep track of. Yeah. Very nice. Except one. One piece. And if you lose that, then you don't have it anymore yeah yep that's very fun next a kodak 100 piece puzzle premium puzzle this is very retro I, I haven't seen have you seen this kodak brand um i've seen like the old cameras at like yep. the amusement parks yeah and they used these puzzles used to be really popular too this kodak brand puzzles because they used to be like photographs turn into puzzles. But that's fun. Let's put that down. <laughs> oh, I did a Twitter party for these bubbles, bubbles on the go. So, so it's like just bubbles in a pouch instead of a bottle and um, the wands included. I think they're probably, they're probably better for the environment too. Just being less, taking up less space. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a pouch, like for applesauce. But you don't eat it. No, you don't eat it, it's um, bubbles. So yeah. don't eat the bubbles. <laughs> Take your bubbles anywhere, no dyes, non-toxic. Very nice, and Bubbles is a great brand of bubbles. Like, 
these bubbles always work, which is really nice because some bubbles are kind of duds. It, bubbles is a great brand. Oh, a little Blue's Clues and You blue toy. Ethan would like that. He would. Ethan is three. He's a nephew, my nephew, her cousin, and he's very sweet. And he would just, this would make him smile really big. Mm -hmm. I love the ears. <laughs> Are they cute? Mm -hmm. From um, Nickelodeon's Blue's Clues and You. Mm -hmm. yeah. Roblox. Cristello, the crystal god. Is that from a game? I don't know. Okay. Not a game that I've heard of. Yep. Yeah. So age is eight plus. So it includes one figure, accessories, collector's checklist, and an exclusive virtual item code. So would that be like part of like your... Your avatar. The, okay. So, a, a, so, so an item that you had to your avatar. Okay. All right. Roblox. It is so soft. Palm Pals by Aurora. Isn't that so soft? Look how it fits in soft. your palm. Yes, it has little um, weighted beads. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, it's and adorable. Eco friendly. Oh, well, nice. So, fiber really? fill is made from 100% recycled plastics. Yeah. Then, Patchamals. Hatchimals Collectibles. Collect. Collectibles Cosmic Candy. I believe that you pull off the sticker and then rub it as it breaks open. So um, so you still hatch. Mm -hmm. You hatch them. Um, have you seen these somewhere? Um, I haven't seen this particular. Of it. Not the Cosmic Candy edition? No, but I've seen different All right. versions. Yep. Very fun. There's clear, glitter, fuzzy. Sticker, iridescent. Hatchtopia. Hatch, Hatchtopia. Hat, Hatchtopia Life. It's a free app to use with these. Made by Spin Master Toys. So you break open these eggs and then a little figure like this is in there. Mm -hmm. Another good toy for Jazzy, huh? Mm -hmm. Five plus? Yeah. Then we have Stickbot. So what are these for? For I ages, sorry. Ages four plus. Um, I, I, I've seen this and it's for stop motion animation. Oh, because it's um, posable. It's, yes. Okay. It's meant for that. Meant for and it, oh, I see. It's stick bot, so it also has suction. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And you use it. Okay, so you can download a free app, Stickbot Studio, to create your animation. So it brings your imagination to life through stop motion video. I see a bigger set with the, for this, and I included a green screen. Oh, thank you. I see, and then you used it with the app. Mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. I wonder how the um, green one would work with the green screen. <laughs> um, I don't know. Invisible? I'm not sure. That's a good question, Piper. Then, the upside down challenge game. I just saw this today. You did at Target? All right, age is eight plus for two to six players. It comes with these, whoa, <laughs> glasses that turn everything upside down. So the description is when the world is flipped upside down, everything becomes a challenge. So there's a couple example cards here for what you need to do. High five the person to your right. If you don't do it successfully, first try, you lose a point. Okay. And you have 10 seconds to do that. And Draw a dog. Whoever's dog is drawn the best is a winner. Okay. And pour water from one cup to another. Into another is easy. But can you do it with your vision flipped upside down? Probably not. Nope. I don't think I would be able to. There's the back. This does look like fun. It says, do not wear the goggles for more than 10 minutes at a time. You probably just get nauseous. Yeah, probably. And finally... Huge Crayola markers. Wow. Yeah, these are awesome. We just saw a different brand of big marker today. Like that big? Really, yeah, like really, really big. So this is this is fun. I'm kind of excited about these. So Crayola Project XL poster markers. Low odor, thick and crisp lines in bright colors. So there's purple, pink, orange, and yellow. And they're designed for um, 
lines, posters, or signs for a presentation. Um, this is how thick they draw, which is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. I'm excited about them. Yeah. So that is everything that we received in the um, swag box from Sweet Sweet at Home. And you'll find links to every product that we uh, that we revealed here in the description below. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And also, if you have a favorite toy or activity that you saw here, we would also love to hear about it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.